Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do the Golgi tendon organ on the proximal tendon of the hamstring. So, as we know, all three hamstring muscles originate at the ischial tuberosity, and we have a bit of a long tendon, as you saw in the, in the picture, and as you can see in your anatomy textbooks, there's a longer tendon there. Um, that means that there's a lot of Golgi tendon organs in that region, and that we can create a really strong release in all three of the hamstring tendons at once if we treat the proximal tendon. The uh, palpation for this is fairly simple because all we have to do is find the ischial tuberosity. So what I like to do for palpation with this one is start in the medial uh, posterior leg and start working my way up. So I know I'm on the hamstring muscles here. We're going towards the gluteal fold, right? If we go towards the gluteal fold up and in, we can find that we hit the ischial tuberosity. So here's the ischial tuberosity, and there's um, it's pretty deep because we have to kind of tuck underneath the glute, the edge of the glute max. Um, so sometimes I come a little bit medial. This is one of those techniques that you would be explaining what you're doing to your client, um, just so that they understand why you're poking in around the gluteal fold area. Um, but it's super effective. So try practicing it on your friends and family at home and get comfortable with this and try practicing the explanation for it and telling your clients why, why are you doing these techniques. When you explain things to people, it gives them more power to consent to the treatment and they feel more in charge and um, it's also covering your butt. So. so I've found the tendon here, but if I was unsure, I would again get her to resist knee flexion. So resist me here, Paige, good. And bam, that tendon, you can relax. That tendon just pops right up into my thumb there very easily. So it's, I think it's really hard to create an S curve in this region. So what we're gonna do is a C curve. So I found the tendon here. I'm gonna come a little bit lateral to it with my thumb and I'm gonna reinforce my thumb with my fingers this time to make sure that there's no pressure in the joint there. And then I'll get her to take a deep breath in when I know I'm in the right place. And on the exhale, I'm creating a C. So I'm doing a C curve here. So I'm probably a little more than two pounds of pressure and it will depend on the person um, how much pressure that you're, that you're putting, but it has to do with just the correct palpation. If you're in the right area and you're at the right depth, then you'll feel the structure and that's how much pressure you're, you're applying. So I am waiting here and I can already feel a bit of a release happening, especially with the lateral hamstring, so the biceps femoris, because I feel a pull and a re relaxation kind of coming from the lateral side. I don't expect you guys to know this or to feel this yet, um, but eventually you will be able to sense these sorts of relaxations in the muscles as you apply these techniques. So again, 30 to 60 seconds. And when you feel complete with that, uh, when the muscle feels like it's relaxed a little bit more, then you release slowly and come out slowly. Good. And we wouldn't probably do any flushing here because again, if we're choosing these techniques, it's usually because there's something going on in the muscle belly that makes us unable to work on the muscle belly. Um, so we just create a tension, distension on the, on the tendon, on the, or, on the um, Golgi tendon organ, and then we feel the muscle relax, boom, we've done our treatment.